Today we're going to be talking about pork and we're going to do a scientific experiment to determine which way is the best. Many people think that bacon is the greatest food ever, but some of its cousins have been needlessly abandoned. Today we're going to discover what those are. Some people have even been quoted as saying, Smoked pork is one of the most delicious food articles ever known to mankind. Bakwa is the delight of the Singaporean people, especially during festive season. You've got to love a country that gives bacon as a gift. Now let's meet our analysts. Tell us a little bit about yourself and the food that you represent. I'm Gaidun from Manipur. I'm Rongmai, aka Kabui, and I'm representing Smoke Pork. My name is Nathan. I am a Canadian representing bacon, which is supposedly supposed to be the best. I'm Doug from Singapore, a place where people love or live to eat, and I'm here to represent Bakwa. What is Bakwa? Well, it is a thing of meat jerky, but Singapore style. How is it cooked? Well, we will either use sliced pork or minced meat and we would marinate it with sugar, salt and some spices and then we'll grill it over fire. So up against bacon is bakwa and smoked pork. Now maybe you haven't heard of these two before and uh, they're all delicious, they're all tasty so determining it just based on taste is not going to be enough. So we're going to use the scientific method to see which one is actually the best. The scientific method is as follows. Number one, make an observation. Number two, ask a question. Number three, make a prediction based on the hypothesis. Number four, test the prediction, experiment. And number five, analyze and draw a conclusion. Let's do science. While defending the interests of our respective meat, we will stick to the scientific proof and not debate needlessly. I'd like to make a scientific observation about bacon. When it is cooked, it smells so good. Better than apple pie, garlic bread, anything. People start salivating when they smell bacon. Wow. I, I feel bakwa smells pretty awesome too. Because it's marinated with tons of spices and they're all exotic spices. All of them? Yeah. You can <laughs> smell it like a mile away while they're grilling. So the question is which one actually smells better? What's okay. your observation? Everyone take a smell. Okay. Okay. Well, I have my bacon's right here. I can still smell it. Oh. Go for it. Go ahead and take a whiff. Okay. Okay. Go, go on. Walk, walk. <laughs> yeah. Breathe it in. Fill your nostrils. Which one is making you hungry? This is, this is the strongest smell. I think so. But it's, but it's about what's best. I don't know. I, I actually, okay, I'm a little undecided because, okay, oh, this, this bakwa is, also smells really good. This is stronger smell. But you can smell the sweetness in that. I think, I I think if I'm hungry, okay. bacon is going to make me want to eat it. But if I just want a snack, bakwa, because it's savory. And smoke pork goes well with rice. So everyone uh, for bacon. One, two, three. Really? Yeah. Okay, I All was right. I was even a little I was gonna be swayed to buck one. I guess I'm hungry, so maybe. Science. Alright, I'm not sure about you guys, but whenever I travel, um, I like to bring some food from my country mm. to, with me to Kind of like a comfort food, you know? And I think that Bakwa is really popular. And you can just bring it with you anywhere you go. We all know that meat should always be on hand. So which one out of these is the most portable? If I want something from Canada, I will request like maple syrup or something. I won't be thinking, I won't be thinking bacon. Reveal your answer, please. What do we have? We have uh, smoked pork here, bakwa here, bakwa. and bakwa. Okay, a clear answer. 
Bakula is the most portable out of these three meats. Like, when you were coming from Singapore, I requested bakwa. Yes. I've never requested bacon from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hard to bring it because like in Singapore, what they do is that they have the vacuum packed ones mm. where you can just easily bring it through customs and you won't have a hassle. Right, this has to stay in the fridge and yeah, that's just good. Yeah. That's amazing. And the smoked pork we ordered online from Island Lo. And we have it here with us today. Pork is fatty. Mm. Yeah. And let's see. Which one is healthier? Or one is healthier than the other. Which one, one is healthier than one the other? One of these should be healthier yeah. than the yeah. rest. Okay, has everyone completed their research? I have consulted yeah. with the scientific community. Yes. Okay, so what does everyone have to offer about health? About smoke pork, I found in Google that heart diseases and diabetes rates are very high and carcinogens, chemicals that can cause cancers are another concern when it comes to eating smoke pork. Mm, that doesn't sound very good. Okay, bakwa. Okay, this is like probably half a slice. So two slices of this makes one piece of bakwa. And guess how much calories is that? 370. Mm. So if you were to take three slices of bakwa, that would be equivalent to like seven bowls of rice. Wow. Hmm. Cups anyone? Uh, in my research, I stumbled across an article from The Guardian called Yes, Bacon Really Is Killing Us. And it mentions the nitrates and nitrites that are in bacon that aren't good for our health. It also mentions like the carcinogens that can come from smoked meat, from smoked bacon, but these are all smoked. So uh, it does have the nitrites and nitrates additionally. So none of these sound uh, excessively healthy. Not a health food. Smoked pork sounded really bad, but bacon also sounded really bad. How do we, are we gonna have a vote? Which one we think is the healthiest out of these three? I kind of think that smoked pork is the lesser evil of all three. Yeah. yeah. Because like even in Bagua you have tons of other preservatives. Mm. Yeah. You have sugar and some other stuff. That's true. So yeah. that's true. what is it pretty natural? It is just natural. It's I think it's smoke, right? If there's yeah. salt in it maybe, either than that, mm -hmm. yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. yeah. So between smoked pork then and bacon, which one do we think is the healthier option? I, I'll go I, I I'll definitely go, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke pork. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Smoke pork wins. Healthy. Woo! And moving on to round four. Doug, what do you have to offer us? The best foods in the world usually is associated with some kind of festival. Mm -hmm. Does bacon have a festival or something? You, you got me. I don't know. I don't know. I know back in Singapore, bar coin is usually associated with Chinese New Year. Right. Mm -hmm. And people like they would queue for days just wanting to buy bar coin and it's so out usually. Wow. What about smoke? Are there any holidays surrounding smoke pork? Uh, there's no holiday for this. I will yeah. have to Google. Google. I'll have to consult okay. the okay. scientific yes, community. Of course, of course. Okay. Go ahead. December thirtieth. Hmm. National Bacon Day is an unofficial U.S. holiday uh, to celebrate that tasty morsel of cured pork belly that is commonly known today. So what do people do on Bacon Day? Just eat bacon? And is it? It's, and it's also unofficial. Un okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> it's kind of put itself in another festive season, like right in the middle, okay. and tried to stake a claim. Mm -hmm. So. It's a, it's a little weak. It's there, but it's a little weak. So, so far, just from um, observing, from my uh, perspective here, we can see uh, smoked pork is eaten all the time. Any day, anywhere, anyhow. But lots of about. people keep their pigs and, and slaughter them at Christmas. at Christmas time. That is true. That is true. Especially but, in winter. But, the, does yeah. it, but Christmas does not equal no, smoked no, no, pork. No, no. Smoked pork no. is all Just winter time, winter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. With yeah. And the fact that you didn't even know that there I was know. a holiday, no, that of what date it was, no. kind of shows that it's not really celebrated. I'm embarrassed. So, um, who are we in unison with our agreement that bakwa actually is celebrated the most? Yeah. Of these three? 
I at well, I am. I yeah. agree. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Bach was the winner. Most celebrated pork dish. We concur. Every food you have only so many things you can do with it, like reasonably, where it still tastes good. Uh, so I'm observing that uh, perhaps one of these is more versatile in its culinary stuff, <laughs> for lack of a better scientific term. Right. Okay, so the question is which one is the most versatile of the three? Bacon uh, is a breakfast, okay? Generally, uh, it doesn't really go that much with other meals. It's like, it's a breakfast, okay, like with your eggs and toast. And uh, that's a standardly like, American breakfast, I guess. Um, there's a lot of appetizers, small things, like d'oeuvres, like that they wrap stuff in bacon, mm -hmm. like tenderloin wrapped in bacon or shrimp wrapped in bacon. Uh, was it like a... Um, Scallops wrapped in bacon, or the fig, fig or date with the water chestnut and then wrapped in bacon and baked. That's very good. Or with like a brie and some bacon in there. Uh, so basically, bacon wrapped a lot of things um, as an appetizer or fried with a breakfast. Gaiden, uh, what do you have for us? Yeah, for us, smoked pork and eat with fermented bamboo shoots fermented soya beans and like fermented soya beans in Manipur we call Hawaii jar mm -hmm. and for in my tribe we call kui and in Nagaland it's called akuni mm -hmm. so you can eat with that mm -hmm. with smoked pork and with vegetables and and the world hottest chili mm -hmm. king chili mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you got that? Um, bakwa. Generally in Singapore, we kind of like eat, we eat it as a snack, as, as it is. People like to have it like just, just to have a bite. Um, but I know mom sometimes used to slice bits of bakwa and she use it in her fried rice mm -hmm. recipe. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when I travel and I have bakwa with me, I would kind of like, if I'm feeling lazy, I'll just take some bread and butter and just put a slice of bark wine and that's breakfast as a wow. sandwich. Wow. Um, I kind of, kind of found some interesting recipes, maybe you guys want to try it. I mean like the people back home in Singapore, they add it as a protein for salad. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or um, as a topping for pizza. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think the Chinese people back home in Singapore, um, we do put this um, in our porridge too. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit light, uh -huh. light and sweet. Mm. So that's how we eat it. Can we eat with rice? Yes, of course. Of course. Mm. Of course. Nice. Yeah. So it sounds like bacon is kind of stuck to just a breakfast. Just yeah, one just meal. breakfast. Well, uh, Gaidun smoked pork is, it, I don't know, it's quite versatile and it's actual full meals. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a dinner it is. It is. would come with that, a lunch would come with that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Snack, so it could be eaten at any time. But what you can eat it with, mm, do you think it's a little more limited than what you can eat the smoked pork with? I think maybe. Down to these two. I'm feeling more. Just the fact that it's full meals and that with such strong flavors, yes. like this one, this mm -hmm. the one with the bamboo shoot, mm -hmm. compared to the one with um, the fermented soybean, yeah. like they're they're very different, but it still works very well. Yeah. So it seems then small pork. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for small pork. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most versatile. Most versatile. Alright, um I'm really curious now to see um what's the texture like for each of these meats. Mm -hmm. So shall we do a test of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna determine which one has the best texture. Like all of them your hands are gonna get oily and I feel smoke smoke pork is Awkward for uh, like finger food. Yeah. yeah. Slippery. I don't think you want to be seen on the street eating. And it's got those like hairs. Not so nice to look at. Mm. Mm. And it's greasy. Mm. Like this one, the bakwa we cooked in the pork fat, but it's it has a nice eating experience in general. That you, it's easier to pick up and go. There's a if it's if it wasn't cooked in the bacon fat but just taken straight, 
it's a little drier, like a jerky, and you can just take and go, and not so much in the hand, but like this and, and, and that is just all, all over. Okay, so out of these three, which one is the, the best feeling to the fingertips? I, I'll have to go. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Easy to pick up and go, like a nice eat, overall eating experience yeah. with that one. Yeah. Okay, Paco goes. Okay. Texture. One of these is gonna make you a better person. <laughs> really? Okay. 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 So, okay, so I guess the question is which one of these is gonna help you to build the most character? I don't really have anything in defense of bacon, to be honest. It might actually tear down character, <laughs> build character. <laughs> well, Bakwa, I think the only thing going against it is that yeah, you might end up fighting with Bakwa. Mm. And in, right. in the long queues, yeah. do, yeah. do people yeah. like they do? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. It's like That's it's not Black good. Friday. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. okay. Yeah. So, Gaiden, why do you think then that smoke pork helps you to build character? Yeah, smoke pork. It's uh, hard to adapt. Right. Uh, we eat uh, with. Uh, fermented soya bean mm -hmm. and it's very strong taste mm -hmm. and uh, like to be honest it's uh, the smell it's stinky yeah, not for so others good. Mm -hmm. not so good I think I think uh, for the western people like they will they wouldn't like the taste because it's very spicy mm. yeah Nathan do you fancy eating this I I like it now but now I understand what Gaidu is saying that if you're a baby about a food, then you won't have it. But if you're going to do, develop a taste in something, adventurous, which, right? yeah, adventurous, and that's a good quality to have overall, mm -hmm. and to develop the taste for the king chili, and also to get over the smell of the fermented soybean and just mm -hmm. enjoy it, like it's, it's like a, a journey. Yeah, it's a journey. It was very <laughs> difficult to get used to it in the beginning. The smell, the flavors, the fattiness, but now we like it. Yeah. I had nothing to offer for this except for negative. Yeah. You had a, a so so argument. Yeah. But yeah. I do this very clear. Yeah. This will make you a better person. Definitely. A better man. So yes. if you order this on ilando.com, you can get your own and you too can be a better person. <laughs> so it seems we've come to a tie. Uh, so far, we could have bacon, won the smell category. Portability, uh, we have bakwa. Healthy goes to smoked pork. The most celebrated goes to bakwa. Versatility, smoked pork. Texture, bakwa. And character building slash becoming a better person goes to smoked pork. So three points smoked pork and three points bakwa. Oh, it's a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna need a tiebreaker. How do you guys think we can handle this? I'd like to acknowledge that bacon is not the best food ever. Only one point. You only got only one, one point. point. Yeah. Smell. Wow. Although that... I do like bacon. Good one, but I do like yeah, bacon. it's not like we don't like any mm -hmm. of these, but, but bacon is out. I'm just acknowledging that for all the people that would be watching this video thinking mm -hmm. that bacon is the best. Mm -hmm. It's only one point and he's tied at three. So it seems the, the logical conclusion is uh, we're going to have to come down to just taste. Down to taste? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So taste test, determining okay. which one should uh, break the tie here. Yeah, so, go ahead. Okay. I do love bakwa and I like because it's a bit sweet, mm -hmm. if you enjoy sweet things, then you enjoy it. But still, if you enjoy salty things, you, you still enjoy it because it's kind of in between. Yeah. Sweet and well, salty. Yeah. So, and it's easy to chew because it's all like the mint bite size. Yeah, bite size. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for this one, you know, smoked pork, one of the points it got was why I feel it loses now. Like it builds character because it's a, like you develop a taste and then it becomes very addictive. Well, this one is from the beginning, Go right I feel. Yeah. So I do think bakwa for taste would give it the one extra point just by a little bit. Wow, okay, so bakwa is the winner. 
of this scientific experiment. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> you didn't make it, but... <laughs> That's it, that concludes the scientific experiment for today. The clear winner is Bakma. We'll put this, uh, links in the description for how to get both of those. And we hope you enjoy. <laughs> I love this. Oh, we nuggets love our pork. Science! <laughs> I can never get it on right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Science! That's so creepy. <laughs> Mike Tiff, Mike Tiff. You look so smart. You both look very official. I just look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. We're debating. We can right. cut out all of Okay. Can you say something? Something. Uh, I, would. <laughs> I think it's better than apple pie or um, other things. <laughs> you don't look very convinced. And we're back! <laughs> you, oh, this is that same list. This one of you. <laughs> this one of you is not like the other one. <laughs>